Yeah, I'm Lisa Kirkby. I um, am a PA to the publishing director at the National Magazine Company, part of the Cosmopolitan Group. The, the main areas of, of my job involve um, looking after the publishing director and um, making sure that she, her diary is, is all in order and, 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 and basi well, just basically making sure that her day runs as smoothly as possible and runs as efficiently as possible. Um, so answering her phone calls, doing her expenses, looking after any travel arrangements that, that she needs, um, you know, anything from just booking cars for her to um, travel abroad, hotels, trains, planes, you know, what, a, a, anything that, that she needs basically. I, I chose not to go on to university when I left school because at the, at the time it, it wasn't really what I wanted. I was doing a lot of, a lot of uh, work experience in any holidays and I think because it was that kind of work I was doing it just seemed like the easy option I suppose at that time when I left school to carry on doing the work experience and then it sort of to, to get working and start earning money I suppose that's, that's what I was thinking at the time. I mean, I, I, I think I thought that probably it was a bit of a waste of time going to university if I just didn't know what I wanted to do and I didn't, you know, have any, any sort of inkling at all. And I think at that age it's probably easier to think, oh, I'll give it a year or two and then go back and, and do something. But, you know, it's not, not quite as easy to go back as if you'd done it at the, the beginning when you first left. If I, if I could do it all again, I would do it differently. I, will admit I definitely would go to university or you know do do something I, I remember having um, one of those girl about town magazines that they give out at the tube stations and I was just flicking through one lunchtime and I saw um, an advert for the PA to the HR director at NatMags I just there and then sort of sent off my CV not really thinking much of it and about probably about five weeks later I just got a phone call asking me to come in for an interview and I'd actually forgotten that I had sent my CV off because it, I just, you know, that's, that's sort of like, you know, how seriously I took it. I really didn't think that I'd had no experience of working in the magazine industry and you always just assume that the competition and the, you know, the amount of applications are going to be like so humongous that you're, you just probably won't have a chance, but it just goes to show, doesn't it? When I got my... Um, PA role in the HR department here at NatMags. I was actually um, part way through training to, to be a counsellor, and then when I got the role in HR, I couldn't I couldn't carry on and do both, so I had to make a choice. And I thought the opportunity was just too good to waste. I thought oh, you just don't know what might come of it and, and and where it might lead or who I might meet through doing it. Whereas I'd already done the first part of the, of the counselling qualification, and that will never change. You know, I can always go back to doing that, I suppose, if, if, if I ever choose to. But you don't get the opportunity every day, do you, just to, to, to work in a great um, magazine company. I'm completely different at work to how I am at home. At, at work, I'm really organised and I know where things are and what, what's happening when and where things are. And at home, I'm just completely different. I'm just messy and not organised and can't find anything and I just um, I'm completely different um, at home and and personally as I, it's really funny isn't it I don't know I don't know why